What's up, you guys? Another episode, finally after what, like three weeks of Epic FAQ. I'm Kyle, or Epic, whatever you want to call me, with a really very insightful, this is actually kind of a tutorial, with a lot of solid advice. So what I'm going to do real fast is quickly show you guys the question winner from last time. It was by Pro3 Runners. Let me find it, let me find it, let me find it. There. He said, how did you get sponsored? Any tips or something people should know? Question mark. Smiley face. You're awesome. 82 likes. Big kudos to them. I even said this. This is a really good question. A lot of, I could teach people from that. So, sponsorships are obviously amazing because you represent a company. You get free gear from them, free stuff. You get to you know, go on trips with them if they ever need you for fun stuff like that. And there's a lot of really cool experiences that a sponsorship can lead from. Here's the problem. With free running and parkour and tricking and stuff getting more mainstream, there's going to be competition. But based on where you live, you can probably eliminate the competition. So let me tell you my experience with sponsorships. One company I can basically say that I'm sponsored by is a company called Earbuds. These awesome, amazing sport earphones that don't hurt your ears and don't fall out of your ears. Now, I'm not going to sell you the product. I'm here to tell you my experience. If you want to know about the product, then watch my most recent tutorial where I talk about them. Or just go to the website. I'll put the link in the description below and you can find out all you need to know about them. But they're great. Working with Yearbuds has been an amazing experience. I'm sure this kind of varies from like company to company, but they're based out of St. Louis, so it's easier for me because they are based in this area. But what you want to think about doing is a way of presenting yourself professionally, not just being some random kid. You got to really think about how you hold yourself, how you speak. You know, you don't have to use big words. You don't have to dress up in a business suit. Be yourself. Be casual. Don't try to be someone you're not. Don't try to be someone that they're going to like. If you want to be hired by somebody, you want to be hired by somebody who is going to like you for you, somebody who's going to accept you for you, someone who's going to, you know, want you to be you to help them. And when it comes to sponsorship, nobody's just going to up and sponsor you. Put yourself in the company's shoes. What if you got a random message saying, I do parkour and free running, will you sponsor me? Or, hey, I have this, I have like 100 and some odd subscribers on YouTube, will you, will you sponsor me? You've got to have something very solid, very efficient, very like... Almost like a resume, kind of. Now, for me, I can say I'm a WFPF affiliate. Actually, I'm a WFPF athlete now. Um, I have a YouTube channel with over 50,000 subscribers. Um, I'm known for this. I've worked with these people here. Just name, like, different things. You can even come up with a resume if you want to, but all it is is, like, how you present yourself. And don't put it all in conjumbled, you know, use professional-type grammar when you're sending these kind of emails to these companies and stuff and just... Never be afraid to ask. If you want to get sponsored by Mountain Dew, you send them the best email you can send them. You know, The worst that any company could say is no. right? I mean, no harm done. One, you gain experience from it. Two, you now have a very slight connection with somebody. So if you're ever at an expo or something, you're seeing like the guys from Mountain Dew. You'd be like, yeah, yeah, actually, I sent so-and-so an email about that. That's really cool. That's good to meet you guys. And that's how you network. And networking is a huge, huge importance. Now, I'm not saying network by begging people to subscribe to your channel. How often do you ever see me put at the end of any of my videos, or in any of my videos, subscribe! Subscribe to my channel! Please, watch my videos! How often do you ever hear about me going to someone else's channel saying, Dude, watch my videos! Tell me how I'm doing! That's not going to get you anywhere. When you beg for attention, you look like what you're doing. A beggar. You want to be humble. You want to know what you have. you got to have that self-righteousness of knowing what you have, your skills. And think about how you can benefit that company. So when you send it, like an email proposal or something, when you talk to somebody, when you call a company, you ask for sponsorship, you got to know what you can offer them. So for example, me with these earbuds here, you know, most people that they talk to are, you know, runners. They mostly market to, you know, the average athlete, people who ride bikes, people who run, people who do triathlons and things like that. You know, just a lot of like basic stuff compared to what we do as free runners and trickers and parkour athletes and stuff like that. We do flips, we do twists, we do crazy stuff and these stay in. So I was like, you know what? I think I might be able to benefit them. So I contacted them and we had a meeting and things went well and now they use me for, you know, really cool gigs and if they ever need somebody to demonstrate how well these headphones work, if they have a non-believer, if somebody asks, I don't believe that they stay in. How do they even stay in? I want to see this in action. They'll have me and say, epic, do a cork. I do a cork, I come out, tug on the headphones, they're still in, boom. That's like a well-rounded, like, like, 
give and take. I get to have fun doing my passion, sometimes get paid for it, and they get people who believe more in their product and will spread by word of mouth. I saw a guy do a flip and these things stayed in his ears. So simple things like that, that you gotta figure out how you can benefit another company. That's gonna be like the biggest thing. What are you gonna do for them? They're gonna be giving you free stuff, sure, that's cool. Yeah, you represent them now, so you gotta make, make sure you know, you're not being a retard all over the internet. You know, you gotta have character now. You gotta be uh, somewhat of a role model. I wouldn't say have the pressure of a role model, but be yourself, but don't be an asshole. Don't be an idiot, don't be a fucktard. Be, I guess, humbly professional, if that even makes any sense. I have no idea if it does, but hopefully you guys catch my drift. But that's that's my advice. That's, that's just a lot that I can give you guys. Any more I would probably throw in the description. But present yourself professionally. Learn how to like use proper grammar when sending, you know, emails, you know, ask questions. Reach out, you know. Sometimes you may have to reach out more than once. Reach out once every three months, once every four months. Don't spam them. Don't harass them. That's not cool. It's it's not cool. Imagine a little kid tucking in your pants the whole time saying, Please sponsor me! I want to make it big! And it shouldn't even be about making it big. What it should be about is doing what you love and being able to make a living off of that. While also knowing that while you're doing so, you're helping another pe like a bunch of other people. You're helping another company. And by helping that company, you're helping the employees of that company. The bigger that company gets, the more job that company can offer people who don't have jobs. So you can think of it that way as a really, really cool thing. But also on top of that, those people who don't do what you do get to enjoy watching it. I get to see and hear firsthand about you know, the people that I worked with tell me how cool it is what I do. And in my mind, I'm like, oh, fuck, I'm not even like the best of the best. You know, these, these guys out there on YouTube who do fucking crazy shit. Hell, the cool, the best guys aren't even on the internet. So it's really cool for me to kind of get that appreciation from other companies. And it's nice because you get to feel better about yourself knowing, man... You know, I really do have a lot of skill. And you don't have to do double backflips. You don't have to land a double cork. You can just learn how to do a cork or a simple backflip, and you can do fun stuff like this. Of course, the bigger shit you can do, the, the cooler it is, I guess. But that's basically how it is. I hope that I didn't, like, confuse a lot of you guys because this is really, really insightful knowledge. I think a lot of you guys as, you know, future athletes can learn from something like this. Now, I'm not saying... As soon as you're done watching this video, go email fucking Pepsi Cola and ask for a sponsorship. I'm not saying go try and pull a Sean White and, you know, get sponsored by Target and get all over their ads and stuff like that. That's not what I'm saying. What I'm saying is prepare yourself. Who says you have to get sponsored right now? If you're young, hell, dude. Take the years that you have between now and when you get out of school or whatever you're doing and polish your movements. Master your shit, you know, and then just work on networking. And by networking, I mean being friendly with everyone. Find something that appeals to everybody about you. A lot of people say I'm one of the very few famous people who keep in touch with their fans or actually respond to comments and stuff like that, which is, it's cool for me. I like to do it. I've liked to do it ever since I, you know, first started this whole YouTube thing. Somebody asks me a question, most of the time I'm going to try and find a way to respond, unless it's stupid. But just things like that. There's, networking is, is very, very important because the more people you know, the more opportunities you'll have. Getting popular, getting famous, making money off what you do is not about what you can do. It's about who you know, or even better, who knows you. So that's all the advice that I have. If any of you guys have ever been sponsored, please share your story in the biggest multiple comments if you need to. As, as, as Share your experience with those because it, the more experiences, the better. Because it gives everybody the opportunity. It gives all of you guys who may not think you have a chance the inspiration to realize that you do have a chance. There are guys who don't even do the shit that I do, who don't even full fucking twist, and they, you know, some of them make more money than I do. So it's not about being the best of the best. It's not about any of that. It's not about being Damian Walters or Livewire. It's not about being Ilabaka. It's not even about being Guthrie. It's about being you and finding a way to just kind of balance something out with another company, another business, another event, another, you know, uh, what's it called, uh, purpose, I guess you could say, a good cause, that's what I'm looking for, that's what I'm looking for, so yeah, things like that, I'm just throwing a bunch of ideas out there, so I'm gonna leave it to you guys to like, get out your pens and papers, go to the back to the beginning of this video and start jotting down notes, because there's a lot of info that I just kind of threw at you guys, so take it for what it's worth, I hope it serves you all well, 
Um, again, don't be needy. Don't be want -y. Don't be whiny. Don't be all gimme, gimme. Don't pout if you're not making it right away. Have faith in yourself. If something is not, doesn't happen for you the way you want it to, maybe it's not meant to be at that moment. But who's to say it's not meant to be later on? You can still try. But don't close off and just focus straight on that path. There's always other ways that you can make it in life besides doing parkour and free running or tricking as your main career. But never, please, this is very serious, never lose sight of the fact that it's always about having fun. It's always about expressing yourself, releasing that energy and just enjoying it. Because not only do some people like watching it, but you should also enjoy doing it. Not for others, mostly for yourself. Because you always got to look out for number one. Anyways... That's all I got to say about that for right now off the top of my head. Anything else I can think of, I'll go back and throw it in the description. But with that, thanks for watching, you guys. Hope this has been a very insightful video for you guys. If this has taught you anything, please, please share it to those who you think might also be on the same path as you. Share it, share it to people who you think would like to know about stuff like this. Maybe not even people who are athletes, people who just like to get sponsored in general. People who, you know, maybe they are athletes, maybe they are free runners who are, aspire to be sponsored athletes, you know, things like that. It's all about having something unique about you that you can offer, you know, as in, in a trade, I guess, with some other cause, purpose, business, company, event, things like that. And just network. Network your ass off. Share videos. Don't spam people's walls. Don't be an asshole. Nobody likes an asshole. And just enjoy life. Yeah, I'm going to end it with that philosophical deep note. Love life because life is dot, dot, dot. Fill in the blank. You guys can fill in the blank. With that, thank you guys. Take care. Stay positive, And may the next best question win. Epic out because I'm gay.